here with head coach Chris Olson of Twin Valley after they just beat Kutztown 68 to 22. Coach, before the game, you said to me after last week's tough loss, you just wanted to get back to the basics. Tonight, you had all three phases of the game clicking. Uh, you started the game, you kicked off, you held them to a four and out, and in two plays, Myers hit Freeman for a long touchdown. Uh, they later connected for another long touchdown. Talk to me about your passing game first with the freshman quarterback. Uh, you know, and really the goal for us with him this year, and really always, is to throw 12 to 15 times a game. Uh, I think we threw 28 times last game, and that's not who we were, uh, and we lost. Um, so there was, a, again, a focus on you know, making sure that the steps and the fundamentals were good. And we saw some things where we knew Trey was going to take advantage of it. Uh, and, and we worked on that all week, and it, 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 it came to fruition tonight. And then obviously with all the points you put on the board, you didn't have to pass it a lot. Dominic Caruso, you know, just in the first half, ran seven times, three touchdowns, 80 yards. Talk to me about the offensive line blocking for him and, and the other runners as well. Yeah. No, and again, it's kind of one of those things that those linemen go unsung a lot of times. Uh, Dom Eclipse, 3,000 yards for a career last year, last week uh, at Upper Marion, but he doesn't get that without the guys up front. Um, so it's nice to see those guys relishing in his success. You know, when he gets those yards, when he scores those touchdowns, those guys get excited um, because they know, you know, without them, Dom's not getting those things. So then we look at the defensive side of the ball. You stopped them on downs five times just in the first half alone. It was several more in the second half. You also had two turnovers. Talk to me about your defense. How did they play tonight? And again, that was one of those focuses. I mean, we say getting back to basics, uh, flying around, uh, running to the ball. And, and most times tonight we had three, four, five, six guys uh, in on the tackle. And, and again, an emphasis on turnovers. Uh, we always want to try to win a turnover battle, and we haven't been successful the last couple of games. Uh, but again, tonight was one of those things where let's focus on what we need to focus on um, and, and get better. And then we go to the special teams. They tried to do an onside kick on you early in the game, yeah. and Trey Freeman scooped it up and ran it all the way back for the touchdown. So your special teams got involved too. Yeah, and that was one of those things. Uh, Doug Randall, who's our O-line coach, uh, but also our special teams coordinator, saw it all week that you know they kick to, to the one side, and then they leave the other side open. And all week he preached, you catch it, get to the opposite side of the field. Uh, and, and Trey got the perfect bounce, and he did exactly what he was coached to do. And it was fun to see. So you won tonight, Coach. You're three and one, uh, 68 to 22, 24 hour rule. You got wiser next week. Yep. Um, mine's going to change real quick, real soon, isn't it? Yeah, I, and that's one of those things. And I don't, I don't know if people realize what coaches do, but uh, you know, film gets exchanged on Tuesday. So I, at that point, I'm done planning for Kutztown. Um, I'm already starting to plan for Conrad Weiser. Um, and, and this is one of those games where we've played them tough a couple years, gotten blown out a couple years. Um, you know, I, I, I'm hoping we give them a little bit better game than what we did the last two. Well, congratulations on your win tonight. You're 3-1 and one now. Good luck next week. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it.